Hi, this is David with David's Tutorials, and today I'm going to show you the basics of putting shapes into your Microsoft Word document and how to add connectors to those shapes. If you spend any time at all in Microsoft Word, you have probably come across the need to put some shapes into your Word document. It might be a rectangle, or an oval, or a star, or any of a number of different shapes that Word has available that you can put into your document. In this video, I will show you how to insert those shapes into your document, how to change the default properties of those shapes, and how to add connectors between the shapes. Let's get started. To insert a shape into your document, click on Insert in the top line menu. Then in the Illustrations section, click Shapes. This will open the list of shapes Word has available for you. Notice two things on this list. First, the list is categorized into the different types of shapes available, which should make it easier for you to find what you're looking for. And second, when you pause your mouse cursor over a shape, its name will appear in a tooltip. Click on one of these shapes to select it, then simply draw that shape in your document. There's only one thing you need to remember as you draw the shape. Everything else can be changed later. If you hold down the Shift key before you start drawing, this will make sure your shape's height and width are equal. For example, if you select the rectangle and hold down Shift before you start drawing, you will get a perfect square. If you select the oval and hold down Shift before you start drawing, you will get a perfect circle. The next thing you need to remember about shapes is that they are images, not text. Word treats them like images for word wrap purposes, and you can use the Layout Options icon beside the shape to control the wrapping. So, shapes can be in line with the text, they can wrap the text square or tight or top and bottom, and they can be behind or on top of the text. There are several other options as well. I'll let you explore those on your own. The next thing to know about shapes is that when you have the shape selected, you can add text to the shape by simply starting to type. This is true for most but not all of the shapes. Usually it's the enclosed shapes that this applies to. If you begin typing and you don't see the text, it's possible that the font color is the same as the background color, so highlight the text that you have put in, even if you can't see it, by triple-clicking on it, then go to the Home ribbon and select a different text color. At this point, you ought to be able to see your text. Once you have inserted your shape and selected the text wrapping you want, you can move your shape by positioning the mouse cursor over one of the edges. Be sure your cursor turns into a four-headed arrow, and then simply drag the shape where you want it to go. If you would like to rotate your shape, click once on the shape and find the rotation icon at the top of the shape, and use that to drag the rotation angle to where you want it. It is when you have rotated a shape that you will notice the difference between square wrapping and tight wrapping. Here it is, square, tight, square, tight. If you're going to be inserting several shapes and you're not happy with the default colors or border lines that Word gives you, you can change the default for all the shapes you insert into the current document. To do this, first insert a shape and then change the color using the Shape Fill drop-down, and you can also change the line using the Shape Outline drop-down to what you want. Then right-click on the shape and select Set as Default Shape. After this, any future shapes you draw will have the same fill and outline as the default you just set. To delete a shape, again, position your mouse cursor over the edge so it becomes a four-headed arrow and click. This will make sure you have selected the shape itself and not one of the elements inside the shape, such as the text. You can then simply press the Delete key and the shape will be gone. All of this works great when you are embedding shapes directly into your document However, if you want to add connectors to these shapes, you need to do things a little bit differently. Connectors are lines that magnetically attach to a shape, and when you drag the shape to a different position, the connecting lines follow them around. Connectors are particularly useful in diagrams such as flowcharts or personnel trees. Unfortunately, connectors don't work if you try to use them directly in a Word document. For connectors to work, you need to put them into a drawing canvas. To put a drawing canvas into your document, click in the document to put your cursor where you want the canvas to go, then go to Insert, Shapes, and all the way down at the bottom of that menu, click on New Drawing Canvas. This will put the drawing canvas into your document. 
Let's put some shapes into our sample canvas here. First, a rectangle. Let's also change the properties. Let's set it to a light gray fill and a blue outline. And let's make this the default shape. Now let's add a flowchart decision diamond. Notice the properties, light gray fill and blue outline, a flowchart terminus circle, and a data store. Now let's add some descriptive text to the shapes. Start Store it, question mark, stop, and store. And finally, we will connect them. With these shape elements on our canvas, let's go ahead and draw the connections. You'll notice that when you have a drawing canvas selected in your document, a special drawing tools ribbon will appear. At the far left of this ribbon is your list of shapes. Let's open the shapes menu and find the lines category right up near the top. Not all lines are connectors. You need to hover your mouse cursor over the line shapes to see which ones are connectors. You'll see that in the tooltip. As you can see here in this version, the fourth through the ninth shapes are connectors. Let's select the elbow arrow connector for our demonstration. Once a connector is selected, when you hover over a shape in the drawing canvas, you will see dots appear on the border of that shape. These dots are the connection points. To draw the connecting line, click and hold on a connection point node for the first shape, then drag to the connection point node on another shape. When you let go, the shapes will be connected. Once the shapes are connected, you can drag the shapes anywhere in the canvas and the connector will follow them around. Unfortunately, the connectors do not permit you to add text to them. So if you need to add text to a connector, you'll need to add a text box shape. Here we are, Shapes menu, Text box, Draw, and Type. Now I'm going to change the color of the font and change the outline to None. As you probably already know, there's a lot more you can do with shapes in Microsoft Word. Hopefully, this will give you a really good start. I do hope this helps you the next time you need to put a shape into Microsoft Word, and especially if you need to have that shape connected to another one. Please share this video with anybody you know that uses Microsoft Word, and don't forget to click on that thumbs up button to let the YouTube robots know that you thought this video was helpful. If you're already a subscriber, thank you. I appreciate every single one of you. If you're not a subscriber, why not go ahead and click on that subscribe button and then the bell icon to be notified the next time we post another great tutorial here on David's Tutorials.